Hi, I'm QDC. What we're about to build today is dragons. And for those of you who are German or knows the German language, don't laugh at me now. I'm going to try my very best. This is dragons. Penza. Bochobach. Tunswagen. Fia. Ausführen. Yacht. Which basically means um, armored reconnaissance vehicle for version J. So this is basically a Panzer IV tank. So let's go ahead and start building this kit right now. Did I do, did I do a good job saying this? Let's go take a look inside this box. We have figures that are already used for, uh, for another project. The rear of the hull. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure what these are either. Wheels. Antenna. More wheels. Upper hull. Tank turret. Magic tracks. Lower hull. decal and the instruction sheet
I want to talk to you more about assembling Dragon's Magic Track. Dragon has provided individual links that they call Magic Tracks. And to assemble it, it's not that hard. What you need to do is, with a pair of tweezers, put each individual link together, like I'm doing right now. And once you finish assembling all the links, you could use ordinary plastic model cement, like the one I'm showing right now. Glue each individual link together, let it set, and then wrap it around the wheels. Alright, so we built the model kit, and now it's time for me to show you what I think about this kit so far. Take a look! This is the computer model kit before painting, and this is a very nice model kit from Dragon. There are a lot of small parts in this kit, and those small parts make this model kit look so good. I like the turret with this. Uh, additional armor protection. It looks very nice. And I like the an antenna right here and right here. And also I like the magic tracks with the extra road wheels and tools. Although I like this model kit, I would not recommend this for the beginner. There are so many small parts in this kit that I could easily see the beginner that really can get frustrated from building this kit. So if you are a beginner, I would recommend that not to build it, but if you want to build it, I would just recommend you not to rush this kit. Take your time and be patient with yourself. Be very patient. It's time for me to paint the model. It's time for me to paint my model. I already gave the entire model a coat of black primer and now I'm going to use my airbrush and start the model by painting highlights by using a light color gray on all panel lines of this tank. I'm going to give some bright highlights. I'm going to use a brush that's dipped in white paint and give areas where I want very bright highlights to show up. I'm going to do some chipping effects. I'm going to do some pin washing. What you see right here is a cup of black artist oil paint mixed with mineral spirits. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the entire model a pin wash. I'm going to paint the main color. I'm going to mist the entire model with a light coat of the main color.
I'm adding more chipping effects. I'm going to get some dust effects. I'm going to tint the entire model with a coat of light gray color. It's time for me to make mod effects. What you see right here is a couple of tile ground. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the tile ground to places where I want mud. Okay, so we built the model kit, we painted it, we weathered it, and now it's time for me to show you the entire model kit from the beginning to the end. Take a look. This is the completed model kit after painting weathering and I really do like this method of painting my model kit. It does look very nicely weathered really. It just has that worn but not too worn out appearance and it just looks really fantastic. I'm not quite sure if the camera could pick this up but I really do like the unusual um, antennae right here because this is a, a command tank and it's just really a nicely painted model kit and what can I say it just looks really nice to me um, it just looks beautiful that completes this model project what you're about to see is a video slideshow of the entire model kit but before I go as always just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a model kit expert. I am not an expert. I'm just a regular guy just like you. I hope this video encouraged you to build a model kit of your own. Either it's a model tank, a model plane, a model train, or even an automobile. It doesn't matter. In the end, it's all about having fun. I'm QDC. Thanks for watching. And always, please. Have a great day.